Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIEO level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we did question number 7 of exercise 9.5. And the topic is the graph of absolute value trigonometric function. Today we are going to do question number 8 of this exercise. And I would suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly first go to my playlist. There is a folder name is AdMath. Watch previous lectures. Then you will have good command on this topic. So let's start question number 8. You can see on the screen question number 8. Part A on the same grid sketch the graphs of y is equals to 1 plus 4 cos x absolute valued function and y is equals to 2 plus cos x for the domain 0 to 360 degrees. Very easy. First, we have to make the table of y is equals to 1 plus 4 cos x. I took 90 degrees interval because it is uh, the equation or cos x and cos x have uh, the period is 360 degree. So, but if you want to take another interval like 30, 45 or 60, so no matter, you will get the same answer. So, take your scientific calculator, write down in your calculator 1 plus 4 cos 0 you will get 5 1 plus 4 cos 90 you will get 1 and so on similarly 1 plus 4 cos 360 you will get 5 then you have to make the table of y is equals to second equation that is y is equals to 2 plus cos x again i am taking the interval uh, 90 degrees because the period of cos x is 360 degrees uh, but if you want to take another interval no matter you will get the same answer so Take your calculator, write down 2 plus cos 0, you will get 3, then 2 plus cos 90, you will get 2, then 2 plus cos 180, you will get 1, and so on. Uh, similarly, write 2 plus cos 360, you will get 3. Draw the axis, x and y axis, and plot the points one by one. So the first point is when x is 0 then y is 5. When x is 0 y is 5. This is the first point. When x is 90 y is 1. Second point. When x is 180, y is minus 3. But because we are drawing a graph of absolute valued function, so this should be 1, 2, 3. This should be reflected. So this 180 minus 3 becomes plus 3. Hope you understand. At 270, the value is 1. And finally, at 360 degrees, you will have 5. Join all these points to get the smooth curve. This is the graph of y is equals to, what is the equation? 1 plus 4 cos x. 1 
plus 4 cos x. Now we have to plot the graph of y is equals to 2 plus cos x. When x is 0, then y is 3. This is the first point. When x is 90, then y is 2. This is the second point. When x is 180, y is 1. When x is 270, y is, sorry, y is 2. And when x is 360, then y is 3. Plot these points. The first point, third point. So this is the graph of y is equals to 2 plus cos x. Okay. What is part B? State the number of roots of the equation 1 plus 4 cos x is equals to 2 plus cos x for the domain 0 to 360 degree. So very easy check at how many points where both the graphs graphs cuts each other this is the first point this is the second point this is the third point and this is the fourth point so from graph number of solutions are four this is final answer of question number 8. There are number of solutions, 4 number of solutions. How to find number of solutions? Just see that how many points where two graphs cuts each other. You can make a more better graph in order to take more uh, big intervals. Okay but cannot you cannot go beyond the domain that is 360 degree so student this is our today's class where we did question number eight a very very easy question but very important question according to examination point of view how many questions are, are left only one question is left that is question number nine i promise you i will do this question in next lecture so if you are like liking my videos kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos to all of your class fellows all of your friends relatives etc etc this is noble cause i i am not I don't take any charge for these lectures. Uh, so kindly spread the knowledge for each and every person. This is my motive. Okay, students, good luck for next lecture.